I'm not the type of guy to sugarcoat anything. If I have something to say, I'm going to say it. If it's something I feel, I'm going to say it. I am honest and very transparent about everything. And I have to be honest with you, looking at the current Ron Tomato score of Eternals, I'm starting to get a little worried. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button. Don't simply hit it. I want you to sma smash the shit out of that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. So let's go to Eternals. Now say that 63% on Rotten Tomatoes. Every time I look at Rotten Tomatoes, the score goes lower, lower. When I first did a video on this last week, it was at 75%. Then it dropped down to 69%, then 65%. And now today, currently, it's at 63% with a nine, with 96 reviews right now. If we go ahead and click the meter, you can just see rotten score after rotten score after rotten score. People like John Campia gives it a pass. You know, John Campia... You know, he's not one to lie. Ever since he left Collider, if he doesn't like a movie, he'll say he likes it or doesn't like it. So I take his word for it. You know, he's pretty credible. But then you start looking at people like uh, Sean Chandler here. This is a guy who works in the same space that I work in. We started YouTube around roughly the same time. He really blew off pretty uh, pretty quickly. Uh, follow him on Facebook. He simply is like, look, it, it's just an ambitious story, but it just doesn't match up. So I really take what he says very very credible and it comes to this thing now this this is not a good sign for the mcu we eternals is a movie that a lot of people do not know anything about eternals i don't know anything about the eternals other than that they're they're, they're created by you know the celestials or whatever the deviants okay like i don't know i'm going in completely blind with this but i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do i'm a guy who i love lore one reason why I'm a Star Wars fan is because I love lore. One reason why I'm a Game of Thrones fan, I love the lore. I want lore. And I'm hoping Eternals is going to give me that lore. That we're going to expand more on the mythos of the, the cosmic universe of the MCU. Maybe get some Galactus mentioned, Silver Surfer, something of that nature. 63% is not the best. And I know there's a lot of people out there going... Well, you can't go buy Rotten Tomatoes. And you're, you're absolutely right. Because I know, I know at least... 10 or 15 of you twinkle toe cocksuckers right now are writing in the comments with your keyboard. You can't go by Ron Tomatoes. You can't go by Ron Tomatoes. Hey, I don't sound nothing like that. Don't you sit there and tell me what to do, you fucking son of a bitch. Tell me what to fucking do. Who the fuck you think you are? I'll fucking write whatever the fuck I want to write. It's a free fucking country, son of a bitch. Rotten Tomatoes is used as a way to judge how people are feeling about a movie. Okay, that is what Rotten Tomatoes is. It just means that these are the critics that are reviewing this movie. These are the critics that say, hey, I give this a pass. I give this a, a fail. Right now, 63% of people are saying, okay, Eternals is a pass. Go check it out. Meanwhile, there's 37 people saying, no, this is not a good movie. This is not a good movie. I don't recommend you go see it. That is the whole purpose of Rotten Tomatoes. If you are hell-bent on seeing a movie... Go see the movie. It shouldn't matter whether the score is bad or not. If you if you were looking forward to a movie, go see the goddamn movie. It doesn't matter if it has a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes. There were plenty of times I went to the movies and I seen something and I really, really liked it. Got home and I was like, well, I wonder what the Rotten Tomatoes score is. And it's got like a 15 on Rotten Tomatoes. Does that, does that bother me? No, I don't care. I like the movie. The whole point I'm trying to make here is we're just using this as a meter to kind of judge the water. You know, we're just trying to figure out, like, what are people actually thinking? And I got to be honest with you, this isn't the best sign. It ain't the best sign. And this is very, very uncommon for an MCU movie. And that's sort of what got me worried right now is, like, this is very, very uncommon for an MCU movie. Again, like I'm saying here, guys, listen to me. I'm not saying the movie's going to be awful. Not at all. It could be one of the best MCU movies of all time. But like everything, movies are very subjective. It depends on the person. It depends on the person. I can go see a movie like Aquaman and absolutely hate it. Then go to a different theater, see Aquaman again, and love it. It's all about the experience. Believe it or not, that's a true story. That happened to me. I went and saw Aquaman opening night. Did not like it. 
went back a few days later in a different theater with recliner seats and just watched it, and I had the best time ever with that movie. Sometimes it's just, it depends on your mood. Movies are very subjective. It really depends on where you're at, how you're feeling at that time, and if that story connects with you. I'm looking forward to Eternal because of the Game of Thrones reunion with Jon Snow and Rob Stark and just the, the promise of expanding the MCU, the cosmic version of the MCU. That's what I'm looking forward to. But anyway, guys, right now, 63%, not the best, to be honest with you. Does it have me worried? Yeah, a little bit. It has me worried. But I want to know what you guys think, though. I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave those comments in the comment box below. Are you looking forward to Eternals? Is the Rotten Tomato score actually kind of, you know, setting your expectations back a little bit? Because I'm going to be honest. After seeing this, I'm going in with a little bit lower expectations. I'm not going in as excited as I am. I'm still very much looking forward to the movie, but I'm just kind of, you know, pushing my expectations back just a little bit. So, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.